Hey, it's just Jeff here, and we're gonna today we're gonna be going over Snake Eyes and Timber. This is the newest rendition of the two figures. I got this from Badger Fist. If you want to check out Badger Fist's online store, I'm gonna have a link in the section below so you'll be able to go. Oh, Badger Fist collectibles! They have an amazing deal on GI Joes right now. They're about 10% cheaper than anywhere else you're gonna find them, and he's got a coupon going, so it'll save you more. So check that out. But let's get this open. Let's see what happens, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so we have Snake Eyes and we have Timber. They came in this little package. I got this huge box full of stuff to be able to put stuff in. Numbers on it there telling you which figure it is. Uh, this is the first time I've opened a non-windowed G.I. Joe figure. So, pretty happy that all my shit's here. But again, though, I got it from a trusted source. They've got their fist collectibles on eBay. Check them out. Link in the description below. I don't get paid to say that. There's no secret marketing ploy here, it's just where I buy some of my shit, and I usually hardly ever have any issues with it, and if there is, the man that runs it is more than happy to help you out, as he is a collector himself, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of stuff in this, so one cardboard container, another, 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 and then baggies! A bag. Kind of sucks because the you know the news right now is that Hasbro left out you know laid off fifteen thousand people and it's like yeah okay you know Hasbro whatever but like shit those dudes don't have jobs anymore those ladies don't have jobs anymore they're going home to their families and going what the hell are we gonna do and it's like here I am enjoying the product that I'm sure was made with blood, sweat, and tears, and they're not even being rewarded with it. They're getting a fucking pink slip, so, yeah. Snake Eyes Shooty Gun, weird clip placement, not a fan. Snake Eyes Uzi, perfect rendition, fantastic. Don't ever change. This thing. Wall climbing hand. Or karate chap. hey -ya. Knife. <clears throat> Hand with throwing star. Silencer. Pistola. Quick. And now we have a silenced pistol. Alternate timber puppy dog angry face. Alright, let's get Timber and Snake Eyes out of their cardboard constraints. So for hilarity's sake, I traded out his uh, one hand for the molded hand with the ninja star there. I gave him the grappling hook, because if he is a silent commando, I have a real problem with him using a fully automatic Uzi. Or a fully automatic assault rifle. Whatever the fuck this thing is. It looks like there's a point where I can put the silencer on the Uzi, so I'll check that out. Maybe close them up a little bit. This thing I'm not gonna bother with. This thing doesn't go on Snake Eyes. I don't. It's stalkers. I don't. I don't know why it's in the box. But here he is in all of his glory. Twist that ankle just a little bit right there. What can we do? Please stand. This is. I'm 0 for 2 right now. Come on. I'm not going to put you up against the trash can. I don't want to do that. Please, Lord. Lord. All right. The camera just a little. So there we go. We have Snake Eyes and Timber. You know, it's like bread and butter, peanut butter and jam. Yeah, cheese and Miracle Whip. Pizza and anchovies and... I don't know. It's a pretty cool figure. There's problems with it. Those guns are stupid as hell. Sorry, but they are. They're doing so good, and then... This. This makes no sense. None. <clears throat> this does make sense. It doesn't make sense with the character. This doesn't. I... 
I might not be well versed in G.I. Joe. I might not be a G.I. Joe expert. But a ninja with an assault rifle doesn't make any sense to me. A ninja with silenced weapons and a commando of sorts, sure. Yes, he has grenades on his, you know, bandolier there. But I mean, it just, it's whatever. Whoever made this thing, you did a great job. I really appreciate the body work on Snake Eyes. I really like this look for Snake Eyes. Other people are probably not so thrilled with it. I, however, love it. Once again, I don't have that nostalgic draw back to the 80s with this stuff. I just see a figure and I go, man, that looks dope. So, that's where we're at. Once again, check out Badger Fist. Buy all the stuff there. And trans rights are human rights. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Maybe. Buttons. So, But Jeff, you said he'd be out of his cardboard restraints. So those cardboard thingies that these had, had stuff in them. So first one is a sheath for his S-word. Here is his S-word. It's really bendy. Plastic. Not a fan, if I'm being honest. So there we go. This is Captain Wobbles on the end here. Looks like that'll just peg into his back. We'll find out in a minute. Grappling hook. Also super bendy plastic. Not a fan. I wish that it was a higher grade of plastic. Because these accessories are cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not bitching about that. They're great accessories. I just wish that they weren't made out of basically origami paper. Uh, big fuck em up gun. Chigga chigga da chigga da. So that's cool. At least he's got that. Alright. Now I'll get these figures out. <laughs> Alright, first impressions so far. Anytime that we get an articulated animal that is this well done, I'm happy. Whole behind legs move. They've got joints there, joints there, joints there. There's some wiggles. <laughs> so you get the head, classic head tilt pepper. You can go up and go down. This whole thing doesn't... It turns a little, but not a lot. That's okay. Arms go up and... Or legs? Legs go up and down like that. We've got some twisted... we got some upsy downies in the paws there. My big meat hooks aren't helping that. We've got full bend there due to that pin. But there we go. We've got snake eye... Well, timber. All right, up next is the man, the myth. The quiet ninja. Snake eyes. So here he is. I like the silver there. That's a big touch for me. I like the grays here. It's more of a greenish gray. It's kind of nice, actually. My camera's not doing the best job picking it up. And then it gets into a brown, black, and gray down here at the bottom. Pretty cool all around. Let's do the articulation game. Head twists all the way around. We got ups and down. Uh, a little bit of side to side. That's cool. Arm that goes all the way around. Arm that comes up to here. Double jointed arm. Twisties, twisties, uh, not a lot of, there we go, some side to side, but not up and down. Uh, leg does that, he can kick his own ass. Back, left, and right, left, and right, cool. And then we've got that much articulation in the crunch there. We've got some thigh swivel there, that is really, I probably should have taken some to this but it twists over there just fine let's get him geared up and then i'll give some final thoughts